Friends, make sure you watch this video until the very end. Today I'm going to show you the final glimpses of animal species that once ruled their lands, but were erased by human actions, leaving behind nothing but a single photograph of fading memory in history. Number 1. The Barbary Lion was a magnificent and powerful subspecies of the African Lion, once ruling the mountains and deserts of North Africa. Adapted to colder climates, they developed a thicker, longer mane and dense fur, making them visually distinct from modern African lions. During the era of the ancient Roman Empire, Barbary lions were captured and forced into gladiator arenas, where they were used for brutal entertainment. Human exploitation and relentless cruelty pushed their population into a steep decline. As the forests of North Africa disappeared and hunting intensified, the existence of the Barbary lion neared its end. By the early 20th century, the wild population was almost gone. It is believed that the last wild Barbary lion was killed in Morocco in 1942. One of the most iconic photographs connected to this species was taken in 1925 from a helicopter flying over the Atlas Mountains. The image shows a lone lion leaving footprints in the sand, standing tall and proud, unaware that he was the final king of his lineage. After that, no wild Barbary lions were ever seen again. Eventually, this majestic species was officially declared extinct. Today, the silence of North Africa still echoes with the memory of a lion who once ruled its land, reminding us that even the greatest kings of the wild can fall to human greed. Number 2. The Caspian tiger, once known as the Lion of Asia, was a remarkable subspecies of tiger. It roamed across the cold regions of Iran, Afghanistan, Turkmenistan, Kazakhstan, and Central Asia. To survive harsh winters, it evolved a thicker and longer coat than modern tiger species, providing protection against the freezing winds of the region. During the era of ancient Rome, Caspian tigers were captured and forced into Colosseum gladiator battles, which made them well known throughout the empire. But entering the 20th century, their fate took a tragic turn. Humans hunted them mercilessly, destroyed their habitat, and in many places even poisoned them, pushing the species closer to extinction. Historical accounts indicate that in 1960, a female Caspian tiger named Soraya, kept in a German zoo, was the last confirmed living member of the species. In 2003, the Caspian tiger was officially declared extinct, once a symbol of power and prestige throughout empires. Today it survives only in old photographs and fading pages of history, a reminder of how human cruelty and greed can erase even the most magnificent rulers of the wild. Number 3. There was a time when the skies of North America were dominated by a bird whose numbers were beyond comprehension. That bird was the passenger pigeon. Their flocks were so massive that when they took flight, the entire sky would turn dark, blocking sunlight from reaching the ground. And as millions of wings passed overhead, hours would go by before the sky cleared again. But human greed destroyed this natural wonder. By the late 19th century, large-scale commercial hunting began. Their meat, known as squab, was in high demand, leading to millions of passenger pigeons being killed every single day. Train cars were filled with their bodies and shipped across cities as a booming business. As early as the 1810s, their fate was already at risk. Conservation efforts eventually emerged, but far too late. This photograph you see is of the last known passenger pigeon. Her name was Martha. On September 1, 1914, Martha died at the Cincinnati Zoo in Ohio, and with her death, a species that once ruled the sky was lost forever. A bird that once existed in billions was wiped out because of human appetite and profit. The story of the passenger pigeon stands as a warning. If humanity chooses exploitation over protection, even the greatest marvels of nature can vanish into history within a single lifetime. Number 4. Around 15 million years ago, a unique bird family evolved on the Hawaiian Islands, known as the Mahoidae. This family once consisted of seven species, all native only to Hawaii. Their tragedy began when Polynesians arrived between 1000 and 1200 CE. Human hunting and habitat destruction wiped out two species in a short time. Then around 1780, European settlers came, bringing with them rats, mosquitoes, and cats invasive predators that destroyed eggs and chicks. Three more species disappeared soon after. This left only two species in the entire Mahoidi family, and one of them was the Kawaii O. 
The bird was last clearly observed in the wild in 1934. By the time scientists realized how close it was to extinction, its population was estimated to be just 40 birds in 1960. In 1970, the final video footage of the Kauai Oo was recorded, capturing conservationists' desperate attempts to save it. Then in 1981, a final breeding pair was spotted, but a powerful storm killed the female. Only a single male remained, the last hope of his species. Researchers recorded his call, a haunting song searching for a mate who would never answer again. That recording is now the most heartbreaking evidence of extinction. The last call of the last Kauai, Oo, oh, oh, a bird driven into loneliness and silence by human impact. Number five, the thylacine, known to the world as the Tasmanian tiger or Tasmanian wolf, was a carnivorous marsupial and once the top predator across Australia and Tasmania. Its striped lower back gave it a tiger-like appearance while its stealthy hunting abilities made it as deadly as a wolf. But in the 19th century, everything changed. When European settlers arrived in Australia, they saw the thylacine as a threat to their livestock. What followed was devastating. Mass hunting campaigns, rapid deforestation, complete destruction of habitat. The situation became so extreme that the Tasmanian government placed a bounty on thylacines, encouraging people to kill them for profit. Driven by greed, Humans pushed the species to the brink. A predator once thriving in the thousands was reduced to mere captives in zoos by the early 20th century. The last known thylacine, named Benjamin, died on September 7, 1936, at the Hobart Zoo in Tasmania. His death marked the end of an entire species. Today, the remaining photographs and rare film footage are the only proof that this remarkable creature ever existed. A haunting reminder of how human fear and greed can erase even the most extraordinary animals from our planet forever. Number six, the ivory-billed woodpecker was once considered one of the largest woodpecker species in the world. Its name came from its powerful ivory-white beak, capable of chiseling deep into solid tree trunks to create nesting cavities. This magnificent bird once thrived across the southeastern United States in the forests of Cuba. But as the 20th century began, Rapid deforestation destroyed the ancient woodlands it depended on for survival. As the trees disappeared, so did the species. Historical sightings indicate that the woodpecker was last officially seen in the United States in 1944 and last recorded in Cuba in 1987. The photograph you see here was captured in 1935, showing a rare pair of ivory-billed woodpeckers. A short film clip from the same time period remains one of the most valuable pieces of evidence scientists possess today. Despite decades of searching, no verified sightings have emerged since 1987. Because of occasional unconfirmed reports, the species has not been officially declared extinct. Yet experts widely believe that it no longer survives in the wild. Once, the sound of its powerful beak echoed through the forests. Today, all that remains are black and white photographs and fading memories the last traces of a giant silenced by the loss of its home. Number seven, the quagga was a truly unique animal, measuring up to eight feet in length and about four feet tall at the shoulder. Its appearance made it one of the most unusual mammals ever recorded. The front half of its body was covered in zebra-like stripes, while the back half resembled a plain brown horse. Once, large herds of quagga roamed the Cape Province and the Karoo region of South Africa. But when European settlers arrived, they viewed the quagga as competition for livestock grazing. This led to massive hunting campaigns. The quagga was killed simply because it ate the same grass as farm animals. Some were captured and sent to zoos in Europe, but even those few survivors did not live long. By 1883, the quagga was completely extinct. Today, only a single photograph and a few preserved skins remain to remind the world of this lost species. However, the quagga became the first extinct animal to have its DNA analyzed. That breakthrough sparked a new possibility and launched what is known as the quagga project. Through selective breeding of its closest relative, Birchall's zebra, scientists are slowly recreating the distinctive appearance of the quagga. Some young zebras now show markings remarkably similar to the extinct species. A creature once erased by human actions may now have a chance to walk the earth again because humans are trying to bring it back. 
So what are your thoughts on the extinction of these incredible creatures? Share your views in the comments below. And for more videos just like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.